Hey guys, this is Jace from Microsoft News, and today we're taking a closer look at Windows 10 build 10,565, uh, which was released uh, just earlier this morning, in fact. Um, as usual, there's an insider build, which will, you will be able to download um, if you're part of the Windows Insider program, meaning that this isn't available to the general public. However, uh, we want to get right into the changes that Microsoft has introduced with this uh, latest build of Windows 10. Uh, so first up is the new universal Skype experience, which Microsoft promised to deliver by the end of the summer, and it's finally here, a little later than we anticipated, but nonetheless. Uh, we took a close look at the new Skype apps, including messaging, phone, and video, just a few days ago on build 10,558, which was leaked, but the new Skype apps are now official uh, with this latest build. So let's take a look at the messaging app. As you might expect, the app basically lets you send messages to your Skype contacts. Uh, for now, it can't send SMS, but that might come in uh, in the future. We expect to see that. Uh, nonetheless, as you can see, the app is quite simple, but isn't quite ready for prime time, meaning that there are a couple of bugs and it really isn't that stable. Uh, however, let's move on to the phone app, which is basically an app where you can start a voice call over Skype. So with the phone app, you can call a Skype contact and you will also be able to see the call history too. So uh, now this app lets you start a phone call, which is expected as this is running on the desktop. But it is worth noting that this is a universal Windows app, which means that it's the same app uh, that runs on a phone on Windows 10 mobile. Uh, moving on to the video app, uh, same thing here. You can basically start a video call with any of your Skype contacts and see a history of who you called previously. Uh, as you might notice, all of the apps don't look polished and have a few bugs here and there, uh, which are expected right now. I mean, this is an insider build. However, we expect Microsoft to fix those in the near future, especially for their final release. Um, so now let's move on to some other changes. Uh, Microsoft has added a new tab previews uh, for Edge, which basically allow you to hover over your open tabs and get a preview of, um, of what's on those sites. This is uh, kind of a nice addition and it will be interesting to see if, uh, how, the, how the users respond to it. Um, Microsoft has also added a major new feature to Microsoft Edge. You can finally sync favorites and reading lists between your Windows 10 devices, uh, which is also a nice addition. Other improvements include the ability to add linked notes using Cortana and Uber integration for Cortana, which are also some nice new things. One of the other new improvements in this latest build include the new vibrant title bars, which look pretty awesome if we say so ourselves. As you can see, the title bars for Win32 apps look way better and modern on, uh, on this latest build. Uh, the latest build also includes some new icons and improvements for the device activation system. Uh, overall, this is a pretty nice build of Windows 10, which uh, you should definitely check out if you're a Windows Insider. Make sure to head over to microsoftnews.com for the latest on Windows 10 and Microsoft. Until then, tell us what you think of build 10,565 in the comments below, and thanks for watching.